If I study, then I'll pass the test. If I pass the test, then I'll study. Well, if I don't study, then I don't pass the test. Well, if I don't pass the test, then I don't study. All of these refats are saying something different. Here's what the first one says. If I study, then I'll pass the test. He says, if I study, then I'll pass the test. This kind of a logical statement is called a conditional statement. Why? It has if, and it has a then, it has a hypothesis, and it has a conclusion. If hypothesis, then a conclusion. If I study, then I pass the test. Here's what the second refat says. If I pass the test, then I'll study. He says if I pass the test, then I'll study. If and a then. Now in this case, you can see the hypothesis and conclusion are switched up. Here you have if the conclusion, which is I pass the test, then the hypothesis, I'll study. So this is called the converse of our original statement. The next refat says this. Well, if I don't study, then I don't pass the test. Now what's happening here? The original statement said, if I study, then I pass the test. This one says, if I don't study, then I don't pass the test. This is called the inverse of the original statement. Why is it called the inverse? Because we negated the hypothesis and we negated the conclusion. Instead of saying, if I study, I said, if I don't study. Instead of saying, then I pass test, I said, then I don't pass the test. Okay, this is called the inverse. Now the final refat says this. Well, if I don't pass the test, then I don't study. He says, if I don't pass the test, then I don't study. This right here is called a contrapositive. Why is it called a contrapositive? Because look at what we have here. We have, if I don't pass the test, then I don't study. Not only did we negate the conclusion and the hypothesis, but we switched them up. It's almost like if you co combine a converse and an inverse, you get a contrapositive. So you say, if I don't pass the test, then I don't study. And that's what we talked about today. We looked at the original statement, the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive. Notice how the original statement is true, right? This is a true statement, right? If you study, then you'll pass your exams. This, the contrapositive, is also true. If I don't pass the test, then I don't study. Now, if I pass the test, then I'll study. Well, that's a weird, weird, right? If you pass the test, then you'll study. That doesn't make any sense, right? That's a false statement. And if I don't study, then I don't pass the test. It's a false statement. And there you go, folks. That right there is the moral of the story. The original statement and the contrapositive will always have the same truth value, right? Both of them are true. And the converse and inverse will always have the same truth value. Both of them are false. Okay, now let's check out the big idea. What's up, folks? Here's your big idea. Here we have the first part. Let P represent it's raining. Let Q represent I'm going to swim. Write each of the sentences in symbolic form. Second part says write the inverse of the negation of P follows Q in symbolic form. And you can get the rest. Good luck. And if you need any help, check out the hint.